Hey there, Paint Shoppers. Welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to do is show you how to use a soft light layer to do some dodging and burning. Now, you can do dodging and burning with the built in tools, but that's not too cool because what you got to do is work on the background, see? Because uh, that's the way they are. The, the built in tools live here. There's dodge, there's burn, and there's a whole bunch of other things in here. Uh, but these are the two bud, dodge and burns uh, for the uh, Paint Shop Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a soft light layer. And that's fairly simple to do. So the first thing we're going to do is go here. Well, it's not there. There. A raster layer. And I'm going to call it soft lights. And then we're going to turn. Oh, yeah, that was kind of cool. Got my caps lock on. We don't want to do that. Okay, there we go, and we're going to turn this to soft lights. There we go. Okay, now we got this layer, soft light. It looks like any other layer. There's nothing in there, except there is. That's 50% gray. And what happens when you do 50% gray and you work with any color or any any shade between white and black, is it uh, it will lighten it or darken it depending on where you are. If you're below, if it's it's uh, if it's between zero and mid gray, it'll darken it and above it it'll lighten it. So we're going to lighten the whole thing and what we're going to do is set this brush mode. I'm going to try it on overlay. It's pretty much the same it seems as uh, as normal. Overlay is a blend mode that uh, lightens lights and darkens darks. So it's going to uh, it's going to make it should make the the blacks blacker and the, and the whites whiter. I'm going to set my brush my brush variance to change opacity with pressure and that's kind of cool. And I'm going to set my opacity to 100%. So what we do is just get going. There we go. And I've got a kind of a soft edge brush. So when I get up to the edges, it's going to kind of just mingle in with the, uh, the, the, the next edge. And we just kind of come around. And the thing about a soft light layer is you can change the opacity of it. So if I'm not happy with the, uh, if, if it's too white, and, and when you first see it, when it comes from that nasty gray, to the white, uh, yeah, it also looks too white, but you can change that easy enough. Okay, get around the edge here. I'm trying to get this done quickly. I suppose if I was doing it for, you know, to make the perfect print or the per perfect image, I'd do it zooming in and stuff. But I'm not going to bore you for that long. Oops, I went outside the lines. Going outside the lines is okay because you can fix them. Okay, let's see if I can go inside the line here. Okay, let's just flip this around. And I'm going to make the brush a bit smaller. And fix that. Okay, there. Yeah, you didn't even notice I did that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, take it off. That's the, uh, the original. There's the dodged and burned. Now that is awfully white. So what I'm going to do is lower the opacity a bit here in the layers palette. And, uh, yeah, a bit less. So there. There it's a bit less, and it's uh, it's probably better than it was before. Um, it's a bit brighter for certain, for sure. And, and you can do it to taste, but that's how you do it. Whether or not this is the perfect picture for it, I don't know. Okay, so there's another thing you can do, too. If you wanted these numbers to be a bit stronger, uh, you can just take your little tool here and and zoom in and get your brush again there's the brush make it smaller press the alt key and make it tiny black is your foreground color and you can just burn them in so you can do it on the same uh, same layer to do different parts in different ways so there's my four and do do and uh, now you need a steady hand okay so I'm not going to do this whole thing but I'll just do it I'll do this for the best I can and we'll take a look at it from outside and that contrast will be nice okay so there we go let's uh, take it minus Okay, there we go. That looks better. 
So I, I could do all these letters and, and fiddle around in here and down here. I'm not going to do it. Take too long. However, that is how you do a soft light layer burn and dodge. So give it a try. It's a lot of fun and it's very effective. Okay. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time.